Cat's Cradle here. A couple of weeks ago, I watched a video where a fellow was showing using a Fresnel lens to start a fire. And he was using a single page magnifier, plastic, to do that. And he also said you could do it with a pocket magnifier, which is about the size of a credit card. Well, of course, I had to go order both of them. The packet, pocket magnifiers came in earlier this week. I tried them. They work. And now here's a page magnifier. It's just a plastic page magnifier. I didn't pay much more than a dollar for it. The strange thing is we had to sign for them because they came in from Hong Kong. So I've got a little break in the clouds here, and I'm going to try to set this one crumpled up uh, piece of newspaper. I'm going to try to uh, catch it on fire with this thing. There is a right side and a wrong side, so I've kind of got to experiment it for just a minute. Prepare. Okay, we got Prepper A on the ground now. She's got a flame and a fire. And that took, what, maybe five seconds? Is that right, Prepper A? Probably. Keep it on in a minute until it kind of you're sure you got it. Now, that's pretty amazing. Five seconds using the sun with a plastic sheet that I got in the mail from Hong Kong. How's that? Okay, it's really hot. Don't melt it. Pull it away. Pull it away. It's on fire. There you go. Starting a fire with a Fresnel lens that I bought online. I didn't have to beg people to give me their old television. Great. Give it a try. You can find them for sale on eBay. Now the sun's gone behind the clouds, so really you just have to look for that moment of opportunity, even on a cloudy day, and you can start a fire. Hope this gives you some great ideas. We are definitely going to play with this one. Too fun. Have a great day, Cat's Cradle, and Preparate. I thought I'd just go ahead and show you the, uh, the little credit card size Fresnel lens I have as well. I ordered 15 of these and gave them out to friends this week. But you can just flip that in your wallet and have a way to start fire that doesn't that doesn't weigh anything, and there's nothing you're not carrying anything flammable or I mean it's just great. This is the one I keep in my wallet. It comes with a little a little protective sleeve that you can slip it in, but it's not really necessary because uh, even scratches don't affect this. So it's it's pretty durable. Just thought I'd show you that. I thought I. I thought I'd come back and show you the envelope. There it is from uh, Kowloon, Hong Kong. There's the little customs declaration sticker. I am sure in my little tiny town, the postmaster and we only have a postmaster and one person who delivers the mail. I'm sure there was some talk down there today. Uh, <laughs> What's surprising is I just ordered this last week, and it and it came in from Hong Kong. So, uh, folks, our world is really small right now. Things can move very quickly. Just thought I'd show that to you. Cat's cradle.